Christmas fishy creations and for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute little um, Valentine's Day tic-tac-toe game um, or tic-tac-toe keychain I should say rather um, and it comes with little pink and red little hearts um, so yeah this is like a perfect little Valentine's Day little gift or accessory um, so if like you and your boyfriend or your partner is um, is going on a date for Valentine's Day you can put this on your bag or on your purse whatever the case is and then while you're waiting for your food or your drinks you can play a little bit of um, heart tic-tac-toe um, which I thought was was really really cute and um, yeah I, I added a little zipper in the front so it's easy to open and close and um, <clears throat> and yeah and it keeps its shape and everything not like a drawstring or anything like that so I thought this was quite nifty and quite cute um, having a zip in place instead of a drawstring um, because it still keeps its shape and it's, it's still like you know it stays flat which is quite good and even the hearts in there it's not even that much padded you know doesn't even look like there's anything in here um so yeah with that being said let me show you the materials okay let's get started okay guys so these are the materials that we'll be using so i'm going to start off with the yarn so i have charity double knit weight yarn it is 100% acrylic 233 meters or 256 yards it is a 100 gram ball and this is the color metador Okay, yeah, so we'll be needing red, <clears throat> then I have some like hot pink here, um, I can't remember the exact name of this pink, but it's like a, a hot bright pink. Um, we'll also be needing some white, um, a little bit of black just to embroider the, or to sew on the, um, the lines for the board, or for the little squares, and then um, I'll just be using some light pink for the contrasting tiles um, just to add um, yeah just to add like kind of like a checkerboard pattern on here just to make it a little bit more cuter um, so yeah I'll be using pink and white to make the checkerboard then we'll use red um, to join the two pieces together and we'll use this bright pink to crochet the back but of course you can use whatever colors um, of course you can use whatever colors your heart desires um, you could have the whole thing red or just have the whole thing red and pink um, yeah it's actually all up to you um, so yeah we'll and with that um, I'll be using a three and a half millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors a tapestry needle A keychain, a jump ring, some jewelry pliers, and then a zip. You don't need a really long zip. The smallest zip that you can get is a 15 centimeter zip, but the pink one that I have available here is a 25 centimeter zip. Um, but yeah, you won't need a lot of the zip, so you'll just buy a 15 centimeter zip, and we will we will um, use only a small portion of the zip um, so if we layer this down here for an example we will only use that much of the zip um, so yeah and then as for the other materials hey guys so as for the other materials that we'll be using I'll be using my domestic sewing machine but you can of course um, hand sew the zip in place but John in order to sew the zip um, well, the squares to the zip i'll be using my domestic machine with some pink thread and i'll also be using my thread needle scissors here and um yeah so with that let's get started okay so to get started you're just going to take your your tail end and you're going to form a slip knot. So in order to do that, you're going to take your tail end, wrap it over your two fingers once, and then the second time you're going to cross over to form an X. 
here and X then you're gonna go under the first loop pick up the second loop take a slip knot off your fingers and pull tight okay and then we are going to chain we are now going to chain 13 chains so to chain we're going to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through that's three yarn over pull through four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen yeah so after chaining thirteen you're going to turn your crochet your crochet sorry you're going to turn your work around um, then you're going to find these back bumps and then you're going to single crochet into that second chain from the hook okay so you're going to insert your hook into that second chain from the hook okay and then you're going to do your single crochet so in order to do a single crochet you're going to yarn over pull through you'll have two loops on the hook and then yarn over and pull through two okay again you're going to insert into that next stitch you're going to yarn over pull through yarn over and then pull through two okay that's two and we are going to do this um we are going to do this four times okay so we're going to have four single crochet stitches but we're going to place one single crochet in the first three stitches okay because each block contains four stitches and four rows yeah, so we did two single crochets so far, then we're going to insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two again. Then we're going to colour change in this next stitch. So we're going to insert into that next stitch, that next chain, yarn over, pull through, then we'll stop there, we'll have two loops on a the hook. Then we can grab our, we can grab our white. Yeah, I need to find my tail end here now. Okay, here we go. So once you have your tail end, okay, then we're gonna color change. So I'm just going to um, yarn over with this new yarn. Yeah, pull that tight. And then you're going to carry your pink, your light pink yarn. We're going to carry that light pink yarn. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to carry that light pink yarn. So I'm just going to grab that light pink. That light pink yarn. And then I'm going to go underneath that next stitch. Okay, again, I'm just going to lay my pink yarn over my hook and then I'm just going to do my single crochet. Okay, so I'm just going to do my single crochet and then do another single crochet in the next two stitches. And that's one and two. Okay, again, don't forget to work over your pink yarn. And then into this next stitch, so we've done a three in the white. Then in the next stitch, we're gonna color change again. So we're gonna insert our hook. Okay, it's still working over that pink. You're gonna yarn over, pull through. You're gonna drop the white. Okay, so you're gonna drop the white and then pick up the pink. Then you're gonna place one single crochet in the pink and the remaining four stitches yeah so that's one two then you can drop the white by the way sorry I forgot to mention that you can drop the white and then just carry on working with the light pink yarn until the end of the row and then we're going to turn our work and then we're going to place one single crochet into the first three stitches so that's one 
two and three. Then in the next stitch, you're gonna color change back to white. So we're gonna insert our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through in the pink, drop the pink and pick up the white and pull through. Then we're gonna carry that pink yarn again. So we're gonna hang it, uh, we're just gonna leave it next to our work. And then you see this like vertical bar there, or that loop there. I like to go under that loop and then through that next stitch as normal. Yeah. And then again, you're just going to work over your pink yarn, placing once and crochet in the next three stitches. So that's one, two, three. And then again, in that next stitch, we are going to now color change. So we're going to insert a hook in that last stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Drop the white, pick up the pink yarn over and pull through then you can drop the watch you don't need the watch right now and then you're going to place one single crochet in the last four stitches of the pink one two three and four okay then you're going to turn your work again and then you're going to place one single crochet into the first Three stitches that's one two and three and then again we're going to color change in this next stitch so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we're going to drop the pink and have two loops on a hook and we're going to drop the pink and we're going to yarn over with the white and pull the white through and again we're going to carry our pink yarn and then again I like to go underneath that like bar there over there so I like to just go under there and then into that stitch as normal. Again, carrying that pink yarn, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two to finish with a single crochet. Then again, do that two more times, one and two. Then again, we're gonna color change back to pink. So then you're gonna insert your hook into that last stitch of the white, yarn over, pull through. Then you're gonna drop the white, you're going to drop the white and pick up the pink, yarn over and pull through. Again, you can drop the white there, you don't need it. And then just continue placing um, one single crochet in the remaining uh, four stitches. Yeah, we're going to do one more row and then we're going to uh, swap out the colors. Yeah, so now I'm going to turn. And again one single crochet into the first four stitches that's one two three and four then drop the pink and pick up the white and again we're going to work over that pink so we're going to yarn over and pull through the white through those two pink loops and again i like to go under that vertical bar and through that first stitch and then do your single crochet as normal and then we're going to place another one single crochet in the next two stitches and then we'll color change on the last stitch of the white so we're going to insert yarn over pull through you'll drop the white and then pick up the pink and now what we're going to do is we're now going to carry the white we're going to carry the white yeah, so we're going to continue placing one single crochet in each stitch around while carrying the white, while working over the white. Okay, because now we're going to swap it. And now we're going to swap the colors. So it's going to be white first, then pink, and then white again. Okay. And then before you finish the last stitch, you're going to color change. So you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, you're going to drop. You're going to drop the pink and pick up the white and you're going to yarn over and pull through with that white yarn you're going to turn your work and then you're going to work over this pink yarn again so i'm just going to take my yarn the pink i'm going to go i'm going to pick up that pink with my crochet hook there so just lay the crochet hook i'm going to go under that strand so i'm going to go underneath and then into that first stitch that I did, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two to do your single crochet. 
Again, I'm going to carry my pink yarn and then place one single crochet in the next two stitches. And now we're going to color change to pink. So now we're going to insert our crochet hook in that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull out two loops on the hook, drop the, the white, pick up the pink, yarn over, and pull through two. Then we're going to carry the white yarn. Okay, so now we're going to carry the white, we'll work over the, our white, and do your three single crochets in pink. And then we're going to color change to white again. So we're going to insert into the last stitch of the pink, yarn over, pull through, we'll have two loops on the hook, drop the pink, pick up the white, yarn over, and pull through. Then you can drop the pink, you won't be needing it, and then finish your last four single crochets in white. Yeah, and then turn your work. And then place one single crochet into the first uh, four stitches, sorry, into the first three stitches. And then into that last stitch of the white, we're going to color change again. So we will insert, yarn over, pull through, drop the white, and pick up the pink. And again, we're going to carry the white. So we're going to yarn over and pull that pink through. Then again, I'm going to go underneath that like bar there, that strand of yarn, I'm going to go under there. Do that first stitch and I'm going to carry my white yarn. Okay, and then again, one single crochet into the first three stitches. And then we'll color change back to white in the last stitch. So again, we're going to insert yarn over, pull through. We'll stop there. We'll have two loops on our hook. Then we're going to pick up the white yarn, yarn over and pull through with the white. Drop the pink, you won't be needing it anymore. And then place one single crochet into the remaining four stitches. Yeah, then again we're going to turn our work, place one single crochet into the first three stitches. Then again we're going to color change back to pink in this next stitch. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, drop the white, pick up the pink, yarn over and pull the pink through the white. And again, we're going to carry that white yarn. So we're going to insert a hook under that, that vertical bar, that loop there. And then through that stitch and carry your yarn. And then place one single crochet in the first three stitches of the pink. And then in that last stitch, we're going to color change again. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook. And then we're going to pick up the white yarn over and pull through. You can drop the pink, you don't need it. And then you're going to place one single crochet into the into the first four stitches. Okay, and again, once you're done, you're going to turn your work. And then we're going to place one single crochet into the first three stitches. And then in this next stitch, we're going to color change back to pink. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Then you're going to pick up the pink, yarn over, and pull through. And then you're going to carry over the white again. Go under that little, um, that little strand of yarn there and through the stitch. And then place one single crochet in the first three stitches of the pink. So that's one, two, three. Again, carrying your yarn. Then you're gonna, then we're gonna color change back to white. So we're gonna insert into that last stitch of the pink, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two loops on the hook. Then again, drop the pink, pick up the white, and yarn over and pull through with the white. Now we're going to carry the pink yarn again because now we're gonna go back to the pink, white, and pink. So we're going to carry the pink yarn 
and then continue placing your one single crochet in the last four stitches and again carrying your pink yarn then again on the last stitch we're gonna insert yarn over pull through drop the white and pick up the pink okay and then we're going to turn our work we're going to carry our white yarn again so insert your hook under under that white yarn the one the white yarn and then insert your hook into that first stitch yarn over pull through and do your single crochet then again we're going to carry that white yarn here and then continue finishing off the pink tile um, and then in that last stitch of the pink we're gonna insert yarn over pull through drop the pink pick up the white and then again we're gonna carry that pink yarn we're gonna carry it and then we're gonna insert our crochet hook um, so we're gonna insert into the first stitch and then into the next two stitches and remember you're going to carry that pink yarn and then again in that last stitch we're going to color change back to back to pink so we're going to insert yarn over pull through drop the white and pick up the pink yarn over and pull through with the pink you're going to drop the white and then place one single crochet into the remaining four stitches Then again we're going to turn our work and then we're going to place one single crochet into the first three stitches so that's one two and three and then in that next stitch we're going to color change back to white insert yarn over pull through drop the pink pick up the white Okay, and again go under that, that strand there that piece of yarn and into the stitch so, and we need to sorry I almost forgot we need to carry the pink yarn so into that first stitch we're going to carry that pink yarn and then place one single crochet into the first three stitches and then in that last stitch of the white we're going to color change back to pink so insert yarn over pull through drop the white and pick up the pink yarn over and pull through and then you can drop the white and then we're going to place one single crochet into the <coughs> excuse me into the remaining four stitches and then again we're going to turn our work okay. and then again we're going to place one single crochet into the first three stitches and then we're going to color change back to white insert yarn over pull through drop the pink pick up the white and yarn over with the white again we're going to carry the pink go underneath that strand and the first stitch and do one single crochet into the next three stitches while carrying your pink yarn <coughs> then again in the last stitch we are going to color change so insert yarn over pull through drop the white pick up the pink yarn over and pull the pink through and drop the white and then just place one single crochet um, into the next into the last four stitches okay and now we're on to the last row so now we're going to turn our work again and then we are going to place one single crochet into the first three stitches so that's one two three and then we're going to color change into that last stitch of the pink so insert yarn over pull through drop the pink pick up the white yarn over and pull through we're going to carry the pink go under that strand and that first stitch and continue in white remember to work over your um your pink or carry your yarn and then in the last stitch we're going to color change again back to um, back to pink so insert yarn over pull through drop your white and then pick up your pink yarn over and pull through too you can drop your white and then just place one single crochet into the remaining four stitches with the pink 
here. And now that is the first square complete and that is what it should be looking like now. So we can just end off so you can grab your scissors and snip off your pink yarn and yarn over and pull that up and out. And then you can also snip your white yarn. Yeah. And now we can take our tail end. And we can weave in our tail end. So just take your darning needle. Thread your tapestry needle. And then you're just going to weave in and out of those stitches. Making sure that your needle does not show through the front. And you're just going to go under those stitches yeah. and again go into the next row and just weave your needle in under those stitches there and again And then when you're happy with that, you can take your scissors and snip that off. Okay. And then you can repeat that for the other tail ends, making sure that you weave in your tail end in through this, the same sort of color. So I am threading my needle with white yarn. So I'm going to go in um, to where there's white stitches and thread my needle into those stitches that are white. Okay, so now once you have so, uh, crocheted up your first square, it is time to start our the back of the the back square. So in order to do that, we can put our square aside. We can grab our crochet hook, and we can grab our hot pink yarn. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are going to make a slip knot again. So take your your yarn, wrap it around your fingers once and then the second time you're going to cross over to form an x and then go under the first loop pick up your second loop oopsie to make your slip knot and then again we are just going to chain 13 so one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen and again, we're just going to place one single crochet into the second chain thumb hook and in each chain across. And then we, after doing your foundation stitches or your foundation single crochet stitches, we're going to turn our work 
And then we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around um, until you have a total of 12 rounds. Okay, so the back piece is very, very simple. It's just one square. Um, so yeah, you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across until you have a total of 12 rows. And then I'll come back and show you what to do from there. Okay guys, so now I am back after completing my 12 rows of the back panel or the back square and now it's time to end off. So again, just take your scissors, snip your yarn, yarn over and pull up and out. And then the only thing left to do now is just weave in our tail end. Okay, again, just going under those stitches. Yeah, so we're just gonna want to sew back and forth through some of these rows here just to secure our tail end in place like what we did with the other square going under those stitches making sure your needle does not pop out the back yeah. Yeah, then you can snip your yarn and repeat that for the other square. Yep, so that's what the square should be looking like now and now the only thing left to do so it is optional you can if you want to sew the um sew the um the lines on with the black or just leave it as it is it's completely your choice and i think it also depends what colors you have you could have white and like this really dark pink or you could have white and red um but whatever the case is i'm going to show you um how to so on the black lines okay so you'd want to grab um your black yarn so i probably have just enough here to um to sew the lines on so what you'd want to do just thread your darning needle okay and if you want you can tie a knot at the back if you want to you don't have to okay and then what you'd want to do is so just where um where these blocks meet each other we're just going to do a running stitch um all the way along so we're going to come up from the bottom here at the bottom of these chains um, we're just going to insert our needle in between those two colours there, the bottom stitch. Okay, and then I like to just skip two rows and then place my needle down. And then skip two rows, so that's one, two, so come out at the 
top there just at the bottom of the pink pull your yarn through okay, it should look something like that and then you're gonna insert your needle back into that same stitch or at the end of that stitch there and then skip two rows so one two and then poke your needle out of that stitch there okay. yeah and that's what it should be looking like so you would just repeat that so you would insert your needle back into that same stitch that you came out previously skip two stitches and then come out um that next side pull out that next stitch yeah and then you just repeat that along and go back into that same stitch and then skip two stitches or we'll skip two rows Oopsies. skip two rows and then pull your yarn through yeah. I think this one I think this one needs to go over a bit more So again, insert your needle into that same stitch you came out of, and then skip two stitches, sorry, skip two rows, and pull that through. Okay. Then again, insert your needle into that same stitch that you came out of, and then out through the stitch at the top. like that and then again you're just going to sew down into that previous stitch yeah like that yeah so now if you want this thing like really really neat um where nothing is like um when you're not working into any stitches at the back um if you want to you can maybe weave your tail end in through some of these stitches like that you can't even see the black very well so that's okay and then I'm just gonna come out so I'm just gonna um, tip my needle at the top here of this stitch at the top of that stitch and then again we're gonna do the same we're gonna skip two rows insert our needle yeah, insert our needle And then we're going to skip two rows, so one, two, and then come out here by the pink. And then again, insert your needle down through the stitch you came out of. Skip two rows, one, two, and then come out through that stitch there. And then again, and sew down into that stitch you came out of. Yeah, and then again, skip two rows, one, two. And then again, insert your needle through that same stitch you came out of. And then skip two stitches, and then come out just at the top there. And then again, just sew down, sew down into that same stitch you came out of, yeah, like that. So now after sewing up 
um, that row there, we are now going to start sewing along these edges here, the colors here. So since our tail end is here, we need to get it to here. So I'm just going to create uh, sew just underneath that stitch. And then I'm just going to weave my needle underneath those pink stitches there. Sorry, those white stitches. Yeah. going to do is again we're going to come out to the side here skip two stitches and then insert your needle into the next next stitch skip two stitches again and then come out that next stitch like that and again insert your needle into that next stitch sorry into that same stitch skip two stitches And then re just repeat that across, like what we've been doing before. Yeah, okay, we'll just repeat this across until the whole row um, has been folded. Then I'm just going to come out just there. And then again, just sew down to the same stitch you came out of. Yeah. And then again, if you want this really, really neat, um, you can sew under these stitches until you get to here. Um, or you can just go straight like, down here. Because um, at the end of the day, you can work the black. Um, uh, you can hide the black when we crochet around with the red. So I think I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to insert my needle into that stitch there. Okay. And then again, you're going to skip two, insert your needle, and then come out after two stitches again. And yeah, you just repeat this across. what it should be looking like now and um yeah now i'm getting ready to end off so again i'm just gonna weave my tail end um in and out through some of these stitches doesn't have to be neat or perfect because this will be hidden on the inside but if you want it to be very neat um yeah just weave your tail end um in through some of the stitches okay i think that's okay and then just end off and then do this again for this tail end and then you can just snip your tail end when you're happy with that okay so now that's like the checkered board done and now there's our two pieces and now it is time to prepare our zip okay so now i've got my zip here and um, I forgot to mention, but we'll also be needing some fabric scissors. Um, 
yeah so what we're gonna do is um, we are just going to find um, we're just gonna take one side um, so my zip is like a little bit dirty so I'm just gonna go like maybe um, I think I'm gonna use maybe this side of the zip because it's a little bit cleaner um, so you're just gonna want to just kind of like lay these pieces on the zip and then make sure wherever you, you lay your zip make sure or wherever you lay your pieces on your zip make sure you pull this pull tab all the way to the side of um, uh, where all of your stuff is because if you if you snip um, if you snip the zip while the zip is on the other end then like well you could still salvage it but um, you know you'll just have to move your work out but anyway um, yeah so anyway you need to make sure that the zip is in this area of like where we where we will be using the zip to you just need to make sure that the zip is in between the squares like we see here um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to take our fabric scissors and we are just going to snip Um, so I'm just going to snip right here by the stopper because um, that is this is the area the side that I want so I'm going to leave like a little bit of a tail there um, a little bit of an end and then I'm going to leave a little bit on this side as well and snip this side as well okay yeah, so now this is what we'll be working with now. Um, so now what we can do is we can just take some pins if we want to, or you can just leave it as is. And we are now going to sew the zip to the pieces. So you're just going to want to lay your um, uh lay your square on the zip and pin it if you want to you don't have to pin it the first one that I did I didn't really need to pin it I just had to lay it on there um, so yeah okay so once you're happy with that then we can get the sewing machine out okay so now I'm here at my machine and I have my machine set at number two for the tension and um, my stitch count I have it on not my stitch count sorry my stitch length I have it on B here um, or the type of stitch I have it on B and then my stitch length is at 2 um, okay so what you'd want to do is um, you would just want to and you can use a regular foot you don't need to have a zipper foot for this I never used a zipper foot on the other one um, so what you'd want to do is um, you would just want to place um, you would just want to place the the piece on near the zip make sure it's kind of like in a straight line um, you don't want it too close to the teeth of the zip okay um, okay so what you want to do is would help if I put my machine on okay and then what you want to do is you would just want to do a straight stitch um, all the way along so you're gonna start and then okay and then you're just gonna back stitch and then continue sewing up oh. Would help if I push the zip out the way. Let me just put my needle back down, put my foot up. Okay, and when you pull your zip open, make sure you do not pull it off the end because, yeah, you will 
you will lose your zip okay you will lose your zip so don't pull it all the way to the edge um, just leave a small gap uh, because if you pull it off then then you have to buy a new zip and do the whole thing again Yeah. Okay, so back to where I was. So now I'm just going to continue um, sewing this in place. Okay, and then again towards the end, you're just going to back stitch. And then just snip your thread okay and that is what it should be looking like and now we need to do the other side okay so you'll grab your other one and then again you're just gonna place your um you're just gonna place your square um on top okay and again you just want to move the zip out the way again do not pull the zip all the way to the end otherwise you will lose it so I'm just gonna move my zip to the other side okay and then you just wanna sew the square on okay I think I'm gonna maybe use this side no okay so I'm just gonna use the one edge here and I'm just gonna so this other piece on making sure that both the squares are like lined up we are then going to put our foot down so um, just place your square onto the zip in the same sort of proximity as the the heart and then again you just want to stitch down And then you just want to stitch across again back stitching at the beginning and end okay. okay so now in order to like create the bridge what we're going to do is we're going to grab some red yarn make a slip knot Okay, you're gonna make your slip knot. Okay, and then you're gonna pick up your your zip or your work, and then just place your hook into that cornermost stitch of the one square or the one side, and then you're just gonna do a single crochet, and then you're gonna insert your hook into that same stitch again, yarn over, pull through. You have two loops in your hook then yarn over and pull through that first loop to essentially do a chain one we are doing three foundation single crochet stitches three chainless foundation we're going to do three chainless single crochet stitches yeah so we just did like our little chain one then we're going to yarn over and pull through two to finish off that single crochet then you're going to insert your hook back into that like into that chain one that we did yarn over pull through you have two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through that first loop to do your chain then yarn over and pull through two to do your single crochet yeah and then i'm just going to do one more single crochet so i'm going to insert into that chain one yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two to do your single crochet and then just slip stitch to um just slip stitch to that corner stitch okay and then and then you're going to place one single crochet into that corner stitch 
And now what we're going to do is we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around into each stitch all the way around the um, around the squeeze okay. and then in the corners you're just going to place um, two single crochets into that cornermost stitch okay. and then you're just going to continue placing one single crochet around the square And then again in the cornermost stitch, place two single crochets. And then just continue placing one single crochet around the square. And then when we get back to this side, we're going to place one single crochet into that corner stitch on this square. And then we're going to essentially do the same as what we did this side. So we're going to go back into that stitch, insert a hook, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two loops on a hook, yarn over and pull through that first loop to do a chain one, yarn over and pull through two. Then insert your hook into that chain one that we did yarn over pull through you'll have two loops on the hook then again yarn over pull through that one yarn over and pull through two okay and then you're going to do um another single crochet in there so just insert your hook into the chain one and then just do your single crochet and then find that corner stitch and then just place a single crochet in there and then continue placing one single crochet around the square placing two single crochets into the corner stitch again place two single crochets into that corner stitch Yeah. And then one single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch around. And then when you back round to the beginning again, um, just do another single crochet into that corner stitch and then just slip stitch to that first um, chain of the single crochet that we did. Um, okay. And then you can end off so you can grab your scissors and snip off your yarn. Yeah, yarn over and pull through. Yeah. And then you can weave in your tail ends, or for now you can just leave them.
Yeah, and now we can take it over to the sewing machine and then we can sew down these squares. Yeah. Okay, so now I am back at my sewing machine and now I'm just going to just tuck those sides down. Okay, so I'm just going to leave those tail ends out the way. You, oops. You can, if you want to, um, leave in your tail ends, but I won't do that right now. Okay, so I'm just going to, just at the corner here, I'm just going to crochet, I mean, sorry, I'm just going to sew across. Okay. And again, you just want to make sure that you backstitch at the beginning and end of each, um, at the end. So you just want to backstitch at the beginning and end of the row. Okay. So um, when you sew the other side, just make sure that you pull the zip um, to the center. Because um, yeah, if you stitch this side closed with the zip that side, then yeah, <laughs> um, then you won't be able to use the zip. Um, so I'm just going to sew up this last side. Okay, and again, just back stitch. So now once that is sewn up, um, <clears throat> you can just weave in your tail ends. Yeah, again, just weave your <clears throat> and again just weave your needle um, in and out through those stitches. Can just snip off your yarn okay and then what we need to do now is um, we need to now uh, join these squares together so you can get your fabric scissors again and you can just trim off um, uh, trim these tail ends of the zip a little bit shorter now you don't need them so long okay And then what we're going to do is we are going to put the squares together and then we are now going to slip stitch the um, slip stitch it together okay so you want to grab your yarn make your slip knot And then you just want to start at the top here. So you just want to squeeze the squares together and then just go in to the top of the stitch here and then just join your yarn and then just slip stitch all the way down. And then all you want to do is just slip stitch these sides closed.
Yeah. And again, I'm now coming up to the end. You just want to push luck these ends into the into the pouch and then you just want to continue slip stitching it closed yeah. And then once you're happy, you can end off, so you can grab your scissors and snip off your yarn, yarn over and pull that up and through, and then I'm just going to grab my scissors and just snip off this yarn that's showing, um, the, the zip that's showing through here, I'll just grab a, a blunt pair of scissors and just push that down into the work. what it should be looking like now yeah so now we just need to weave in our tail ends so we can grab our tapestry needle and weave in our tail ends like we've been doing before Okay, so now that is the actual pouch completed, um, and this is what it should be looking like now. Okay, isn't it just cute? Okay, so now the last thing that we need to do is make our heart. So we can put this one side, and now it is time to, um, to make the heart. So you'd want to grab your red yarn, or your red or your pink and um, you're gonna make a magic ring so to do a magic ring we're gonna take our finger our yarn wrap it around our fingers once twice and then the third time we're gonna cross over to form an x then you're gonna um, insert your hook through that first loop pick up the second loop and then do a chain one just to secure your magic ring and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a we are going to do a single crochet, do a half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have three loops on the hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Then you're going to do a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook. Then you're going to yarn over. We'll do the first two and then yarn over and pull through the second two. Then you're going to do a slip stitch. Then you're going to insert into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through, and then pull that first loop through that second loop. You're going to do that again. So you're going to do a double crochet. So it's uh, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two again. And then a half double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, and then yarn over, pull through all three. And then you're going to do another chain one. Oh, sorry, then you're going to do another single crochet. And then you're going to close off your magic ring. So you're going to pull that tail. That one loop's going to get cinched in. Then you're going to take that, that loop and then pull that down towards you. 
and then you're just going to take that tail end and pull on that to get rid of the other loop. Then you're going to slip stitch to your first, um, then you're going to slip stitch to that first stitch. Then you're going to end off. And then you're going to weave in your tail ends. And then I'm just going to snip these two tail ends. So now after you have completed your one heart, you can go off and make another two like this in red. And in total, you should have three, um, three hearts in each color. Um, so three hearts in red and then three hearts in pink. And then, yeah, then I'll come back and um, show you um, what to do from there. Yeah. I am back after completing all of my hearts so I have three red and three pink um, and you should have the same amount of hearts and now the only thing left to do now is just put the hearts in the bag and then we need to add our keychain yeah. Yeah, so then after you've got your keychain, you just want to grab your jump, your pliers, jewelry pliers, and then just poke the the jump ring through the corner. Through the corner of the bag, and then just insert your keychain on there. Okay, so now you just want to close off that jump ring. And I like to just squish the jump ring closed just for like extra security. Yeah. And then there you have it. There is our little tic-tac-toe game. Um, so yeah, let's, let's test it out, shall we? Yeah. So yeah, um, I hope you guys really managed to follow along and um, yeah, I really hope that you guys really enjoy learning how to crochet um, this cute little um, this cute little tic-tac-toe keychain. Um, yeah, I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Okay guys, so that is it for this tutorial on how to crochet this Valentine's Day tic-tac-toe keychain. Um, I really, really hope that you enjoyed um, learning how to crochet this cute little tic-tac-toe keychain. And um, yeah, I hope you managed to follow along and I really hope that inserting the zip was not too difficult for you. And um, but yeah, let me know if you guys um, managed to follow along and if you guys really enjoyed um, learning how to crochet this cute little tic-tac-toe keychain. I think it's adorable. I really, really do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to crochet this cute little tic-tac-toe keychain. And um, yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, um, subscribe and also share my channel. Those are three things that you can do um, to support me and my channel. And um, yeah, it, it really does help out my channel. And um, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you do at least one of those things. Um, so yeah, again, if you if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help out my channel, and you wouldn't miss a thing. Trust me, you would you would not regret it because I have some really exciting things coming to this channel, and um, I've actually started a game series. Um, I spin a wheel, and the wheel depicts what keychain, what keychain pattern I have designed, and on here on my YouTube channel, um, it depicts what keychain uh, make into a little mini keychain so yeah <laughs> um last week's video actually um actually i am not gonna reveal it i'm not gonna reveal it if you want to know what keychain was picked and made into a mini tiny keychain then watch episode one of the spinning wheel making making my keychain patterns into mini keychains 
you'll not want to miss it it is so much fun and yeah i actually enjoyed making the video and i really hope you guys will enjoy watching it as well but anyway that is it for today's tutorial on how to crochet this cute little tic-tac-toe game please again do not do not forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting bye guys